Hi Capricorn, thank you for joining me this week. This is our May 26th to June 2nd. June already, 2016 Psychic Tune In. I appreciate you allowing our paths to cross and hopefully bring more clarity to our week, um, some spiritual guidance, and remember this is a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inquiring, totally cool. It's the highest and greatest good of everyone involved, so you can move forward in love. Um, so Capricorn, please open your own psychic and spiritual antennas. See which nuggets uh, of wisdom ring true in your life. Trust your own logic, your own intuition, and make sound decisions that are based in love. See what resonates in you with the energies that I pull for this week. So let's see what we have. I'm going to start with an animal card. And... So we have um, sun, moon, rising, and inquiring for Capricorn for this week and how you ride this energetic wave or how it works into your life is um, understood by your own inner guidance. So let's see how we can connect everything together here. Let's see what God, uh, source, the universe, the Holy Spirit, logic, luck, your higher self, your guardian angels, your spirit guides, whatever you believe is totally cool. Capricorn, let's see what we have here for the week and see how this resonates with you. So one card for Capricorn from the animal deck. That one. I'm gonna pull a numerology card for Capricorn. That one. And at the bottom, you have an eight power manifestation, infinity, eternity, the alpha, the omega, understanding that uh, what you think about and what you feel, right? What you connect to your emotions and your passion and your logic and your dreams with, along with how you pursue each step, you know, taking one step that takes you one step further towards that goal or that dream or that idea begins to manifest things. So maybe you're going to have like things sort of show up extra for you this week. Manifestation eight. You also have ooh, 26 love partnership Capricorn. So maybe you are manifesting a love par partnership this week. Let's see what your animal card is. Oh, the spider. So, the spider. So, trust your creative spark, your feeling, Capricorn. Express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. I feel like I got this for cancer, too. Maybe you have cancer in your chart, or you're dealing with a cancer, maybe in this. But, um,. I also think of the internet, I think of communication, I think of texting, I think of uh, connections, you know, maybe you're uh, having a connection not direct, I think of like six degrees of separation, things coming into your life, you don't know how, but at the right time and at the right place, they just came, but this is telling you to be creative this week to let your story be out, talk about your story, uh, find a healing in you, um, expressing the sides of you that inspire you. Allow those inspirations to also inspire others, perhaps heal both sides as well. So I'm going to pull from this. This is the Crystallis Tarot from Holly Sierra and Tony Brooks. I took a little bit of a retreat to get my energy back this week. And I don't really completely relax. When I relax, I still do a bunch of other things, but more hermit-like. So I went total nerd with this tarot deck and did some extra studying because the meanings were different from other decks and I wanted to give it proper attention. So I'm going to use it this week. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to pull three cards for us. Uh, Capricorn, sun, moon rising for this week. What do we have for wisdom, 
in love. Hi, orange cat. What's going on? Yeah, just just a little hi and a little bye. By the way, guys, behind me over there, that's Elvis and Buddy eating some hay after their dinner. One card for Capricorn career. And one card for general, awesome, overall wisdom for the week. That one. And at the bottom of the... Oh, Capricorn. I love you guys. You have the lovers. So you are... You do have some kind of like lovey-dovey thing gonna go on this week. If it isn't expected, maybe just somewhere in the back of your mind expect something beautiful. Some kind of union of opposite energies. Whether that's in the lovey-dovey department or the career department or the friend department, it's you and somebody else that are very much opposite each other and somehow work beautifully together. Or so you will discover two doves coming back home together, all these animals in the forest, like an orange cat. Looks like an orange cat that just went by. You got a bunny rabbit. <laughs> You've got the buck. Such symbolism in this. You've got the ram <laughs> and you've got the stallion. I think they're telling you something in this card. What do you think? And then you got the two awesome lovers. So, and then you have one weird old man in the forest with an ET finger on his left hand. That's kind of a weird, he has a crown on. Maybe that's the king of the forest or like the A-OK -okay from the father of the bride. Maybe that's, you know, the father agreeing that this is a good decision for everyone. Maybe that was for somebody in there. I'm not used to seeing an old man with the lovers here. Sometimes it's an angel, sometimes it's something else, but... Alright, so this is telling you, Capricorn, to bite the forbidden apple already and exit the Garden of Eden of delusion. You need to bite the apple to get out of the delusion and to live into the reality. This is also celebration of oneness and union of opposites. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm so glad that you pulled it as the underlying energy this week along with this <laughs> and this. <laughs> All right, so maybe you found love online. Maybe that's where this internet thing came in. Let's see what we have. So for love, oh, you guys are awesome. Look at this, you got the Empress. So birthing something new. Nurturing abundance, being patient, being trustful, being pure in heart, abundant beauty. You have another white dove she's holding as her little, you know, baby. This is peace, love, unity, rebirth, renewal, new beginnings, new creations, new projects, new babies, maybe. Um, it's a creation, but it's also receiving. It's receiving and nurturing. It's that big Mother Earth Mama energy. It's number three. It's the Empress. It's being able to connect into nature so well that you can create abundance and man manifest in your actual life around you tangibly what you can see and touch and feel and take care of. So something's being rebirthed. Maybe it's a new feeling in your love partnership. Maybe it's a new start, a new direction, a new uh, a new hobby you do together, or maybe just a brand new partnership. You know, something you never had before. Something that is gonna allow you to feel like you have been reborn. That's pretty good. Let's see what we have for career. You, oh wow, you guys, oh, now I wanna see what you have. Well, a lot of other signs this week had the hanged man. You have it not in the lover's position, you have it as your general overall wisdom. So as your general wisdom, allow yourself to see in a different perspective. Allow others to see in a different perspective. It's possible somebody's been turned over on their head in this situation, they didn't expect it and now they have to see things a different way because of you or you because of them in their life, in your life. So this is learning how to see what is in the dark. Learning to have a new set of eyes that are, you know, like superhero eyes. So you can see in the dark, so you can understand uh, 
the wisdom in what is unseen. It's telling you to embrace the divine light inside you to be able to see your way or that somebody else is learning to do this. So allow them that space to do that. Um, it requires frequent, uh, a lot of patience, frequent contemplation. You're going to be thinking about it a lot, feeling it a lot. And it's like a, in this, in this deck, it's like a personal goal. So somebody has a personal goal to try to understand how to see things a different way. If that is not you, understand maybe that is the partnership and that is the other in your situation, Capricorn. So just as you would like to be allowed that time to understand things, allow that to somebody else. Allow it to yourself, allow it back. Seek wisdom, all right? Open your mind. Maybe somebody else's mind is being opened and it's a process. It needs to unfold slowly. So just allow patience and it'll happen. I'm gonna move to this for career, Capricorn. You have the Ace of Scrolls. You got the Empress, well the Hangman, but that's okay. This is okay, this is so that you can have a good start. So maybe things were just, you know, somebody saw things a different way and now in order for things to be new and new beginnings, you need to see things a different way. You also have another new beginning here with the lovers. So maybe this brand new start in love is also bringing you the same kind of starting energy in your career because this means whatever balance you have in your nest whatever uh, passion is coming in your life with this opposite energy I mean if you're not in a relationship this is you loving yourself unconditionally so you can birth something new and have the same kind of abundance come back in your life so maybe you do want a relationship you loving yourself and connecting you know your own masculine and feminine self together in a union is um, what's gonna bring it in connecting your divine self and your animalistic self together and this union in your life this week so look where this is for you um, tells you I mean Whatever this is, is bringing you something in your career sector that's making you feel like you have sheer determination. Scrolls is your mind, it's thoughts, it's clarity of your mind, it's you using your intuition and connecting that to have clarity of mind or vice versa. So it's knowledge of something bigger than the mundane in life. All right, so there's two keys here with this crow. And, let's see. So this shows you that you'll be nurtured along your way to success. That you need to unlock your own personal keys of expansion this week. One key is of your raw, badass potential the other key is your abundant energy that you have to do it under sheer determination and the connection to your higher self there's a uh, purple in this so it stand fast stand fast Capricorn you have a big start coming and a big expansion that's gonna involve your intuition your mind and birthing something new and allowing something new in your life and allowing a new perspective allowing someone else to have that um, I'm gonna pull you one more animal card. You have such a good reading. You have such a, you know, just allow this change in per perception and allow your creativity to flourish. Cardinal, the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back